Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm here with my amazing daughter Layla who just came up with the greatest idea in the whole world. And by the way, I'm gonna steal this as my own <laughs> and make it seem like this was all my idea. No, I won't, because it was your idea. So what we're doing today is we're making rose petal perfume, like DIY rose petals from our garden perfume. And I think it's such a beautiful idea that you had. How'd you come up with this? Yeah, no, my mom is always talking about like how good her roses smell. And I was just like, I mean, that would be amazing if she could wear it. And it's her own roses. She loves her rose garden. So I just was like, okay, I'm going to make your own rose petal perfume. So smart. Yeah. You get that from me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's go through some of the things that you need to create this. Let's start with this distilled water. Very, very, very pure. You're only going to use a little bit of it. Whatever you have left over, you can use it in your humidifier or something like that. You're going to have a little bit of vodka in there. The alcohol helps extract the fragrance. Yep, did correct. I get that right? Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, good. I gotta keep checking. We have a nice, cute mason jar just to put the rose petals in once the time comes. Okay. We have the essential oils. The oil helps it stay on the skin a little bit yeah, longer, that's right? That's true. And, and, then, and we have this is this is supposed to be uh, fragrantless, correct? Yes. So we got a little jojoba oil. Okay. Yeah. And then we have this cute little perfume bottle that we're just gonna put the perfume in. And then we've got a nice jar. We're using a nice mason jar. Yeah. Uh, it can be anything, right? Yep. Let's do it. These are beautiful. Even Red thinks so. Red, <laughs> do you think these are beautiful? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, so why are we using these guys? So these are mom's favorite smelling roses out of the whole entire rose garden. They're beautiful and they smell amazing. Well, I'm gonna be the judge of that. I think I should be the judge of that. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Wow, she's smart. Mm -hmm. So are you. <laughs> okay, by the way, I happen to know the name of these guys because that's how I kind of work here. These are called John Paul II, and that's the name of the type of rose they are, and they're a hybrid tea rose. Yes. How about that, Shirley? Now what do we do? What's the next move? We're going to put about like a cup of rose petals in here. Okay, so, so you pick the rose pick petals. Them off. Okay, just pick them off. Is there any technique to this or just no problem? No, you just kind of put them in. I mean, you can push them down if you want to see like measurements, I guess. Okay, so you want to push them down to get the right measurement? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. But let me push those guys down. Okay, maybe a few more. Yeah. All right. Now. Vodka. Bottle. Why do you seem so excited about the vodka? <laughs> I don't even want you looking at this. I'm handling the vodka. Yes, we do half a cup of vodka and we just kind of pour it over this. And somehow the vodka helps to kind of break down and pull the essence from the petals, right? Yep. And then we just let this sit for 24 hours. Now I'm going to put this away forever. <laughs> Okay, Layla, what day is it? What are we doing here? It's the second day. Now we're going to smash the flower petals. Yes, to, my like, specialty. Yeah, to release the oils. Okay. And then we're going to add three cups of distilled water. On that note, what do we do now after we finish this up? Now we're going to leave it for seven days. That Look how perfect that is. is. <laughs> We're going to leave this sitting for seven days and we're supposed to like come in like after a few days and just mash up the petals again. And then after another few days, mash up the petals. But yeah. That's beautiful. It is actually. Isn't that pretty? You can almost drink it, <laughs> but not. Okay. Seven days. Close it up. Yep. Uh, cool, dry place. Yes. Okay. See you in seven days. Well, it has been seven days. We forgot to mention that we also put, um, five drops of essential oil in here too. The oil helps uh, the perfume to last longer once it gets put on the skin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So now that we've got this, this is the moment of truth. Can we open and have a little smell? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Oh, that's really nice. It smells like my mom's rose garden. That's really nice. Way to go. Okay. What do we do now? Okay. Now all we have to do is strain it into this. And okay. then we kind of just put it in this little perfume bottle. And it's good to go. Yeah, exactly. Man, we should start a business. We got a lot, we got a lot of perfume here. Maybe. That's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. And you can we just got this um Up perfume bottle on, on Amazon. Yeah. They're really easy to find. Mm -hmm. Get a fancy one, get a simple one, whatever you guys want. <sighs> and here it is. There it is. Can I try it? Yeah. Oh. 
That's so cute. You did great. You too. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy.